There's a lot of European soccer, like a lot, a lot. So let's break it down. The Premier League is the best league from top to bottom thanks to their gigantic TV contract and revenue sharing model. Chelsea and Manchester City are the favorites to win this year, but Liverpool and Manchester United are the biggest clubs historically, while North London rivals Arsenal and Tottenham are usually in the mix. There's less competitive balance in La Liga where, with apologies to Atletico Madrid, it's all about Real Madrid and Barcelona, a deep-seated rivalry with roots in Franco's regime and Catalonian independence. Today, without the political strife, they're two of the biggest, richest clubs in the world. Germany is even more top-heavy, where Bayern Munich, which has a good chunk of Germany's World Cup squad, stands head and shoulders above the rest of the Bundesliga. In Italy, Serie A was once the best league in the world, but it's fallen off considerably due to economic factors, the Premier League's marketing machine, and a 2006 match-fixing scandal. An ugly streak of fan racism hasn't helped its image. Every country has its own league. In France's Ligue 1, Paris Saint-Germain is quickly approaching super team status, while rivalry matches in Turkey are more insane than anything in American sports. And so on and so forth, from Portugal to Russia to tiny little Cyprus. As if all the leagues weren't enough to follow, teams in different leagues play each other in separate competitions. The biggest of these is the Champions League, which takes the best of the best from all around Europe. The tournament has 32 teams separated into groups of four, which leads to knockout rounds, just like the World Cup. But instead of one crazy month, Champions League games happen intermittently throughout the European football season, from August to May. There's also a secondary competition called Europa League for teams that are good, but not quite good enough for Champions League. Think of it like the NIT for soccer, but a little bit more prestige. With so many leagues and competitions across several time zones, hardly a day goes by without European soccer. So have fun with your new addiction.